Hello, 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 it's me, Gog the Viking, and today the ship battle ship review is on the long ship. Now the second ship built on our server, it was a team effort between me and somebody named, uh, quote, Jim, unquote. Oh uh, yeah, we worked together on this project. It's one of my favorite ships, mostly because it's Viking themed, so of course. Um but also just because it plays really well it's a fun one to play on it uh, it's a very offensive ship there's not very many defensive capabilities as you can tell and it's got these pretty solid cannons and it's pretty well set up to board the enemy so just starting from here and working my way down these ends of the ship were really tricky to get right because uh, they had to curve in just the right way we spent quite a bit of time getting the bows correct but uh, the main body of the ship as you can tell is pretty much you know it's all hand built I believe but it's pretty formulaic it was very easy to put together uh, so what we did was build the entire frame of the ship and then we put in the mast and then we went in and threw in these uh, decking portions because we didn't originally know how we wanted to do the cannons so but we knew we wanted to do a long ship so we just kind of built the frame of the long ship and added in what we thought we had to add in. Uh, if you go under these decking bits, you find the chests. There's one here and there's one way down at the other end on this uh, updated version. <coughs> updated version. There were uh, four chests on here before, but we we did update it. And there were originally iron swords too, but we decided it was way too powerful. Because this ship is designed for boarding other ships. So if you go ahead and look in the chests, and I am using a, a work in progress ship battles texture pack that's being done by another guy on our server. So these right here, these are arrows. I am also in pirate speak. So yeah, these are arrows, the bullets. And actually, I'll show you really quickly. The bow is a flintlock pistol, so it's pretty cool. You can shoot that, take some arrows, and then it pulls them back. It's like you're shooting bullets, but this isn't a texture pack. Right? Uh, so we got some redstone kits, of course. TNT. The TNT will actually be edited out. Uh, we'll probably put in some more boarding kits or food or something because the TNT is unnecessary with the infinite stack. But you've got your food, you know, healing potions, arrows. The real special thing is the sort of knockback. Uh, it's been downgraded from the iron swords it was before to a stone sword, but it does have knockback. The thinking is, I mean, this ship has Vikings on it. Vikings are big and strong, so they're going to, you know, hit you back really far with their sword. Just a bit of thematic fun that we had with it. Of course, you can knock people off ships and stuff, but mostly it was for theme. Uh, the stone makes them pretty good at boarding. Plenty of boats to board. So, 12 boats in total on this ship. Not that hard to get across to the other team. Uh, just basically how this ship would get boarded. As a quick note, if you were the enemy team, uh, the only way onto the ship at the start is through the cannon mouths. So there's only six ways on at the start, but of course you can just come over here, throw ladders on the side, and jump up. Yeah, it's a very low ship. And actually, it's low, it's not a very defensive ship in terms of arrows. The only place you can go to hide from arrows is under this decking here. And it does come quite in handy. But, uh, you know, in terms of the enemy shooting TNT at you, because the ship does sit so low in the water, it's, uh, I need that later, it is reasonably difficult to hit so it is well defended in that case uh, the double cannons are nice and nice and strong you get those so what you would do is you would load up the guns you know real quick and then usually because you don't want to get hit by the knockback of the blast you load up the guns and then you kind of run over to here where you're safe You know, do this. Oh, I got a hit. But, you know, this is one of the better ships for seeing where your shots go. A lot of times you have to hide behind things 
to get out of the way and you can't tell exactly where you're hitting this ship it's incredibly easy to watch your shots and you know learn for timing them the next time you know I usually do just go back there uh, since it is a uh, that's crazy. Since it is a double cannon and it's uh, separately configurable, it is nice for if you're uh, you know trying to shoot to different distances. So here I can go a little bit less, but you know it makes it easier to configure delay, being able to do it. Again. And uh, it does, you know, it only has three guns but since they're doubles when they hit they can take out a huge section of the enemy ship you know they can just this ship is notorious for just drilling other ships and pretty much cutting them in half now if i keep going here and get another good shot you know a couple shots from the double and your ship is uh you do have archery masts uh, this is different from other ships with archery mast. You can't get onto the inside of the sail, so you have a little bit uh, fewer options there. You know, you do have a lot less cover from arrows on this ship, which is a negative, but you are supposed to be boarding fairly quickly. Forgot that I didn't have creative there. That uh, could have been disastrous. It is a very high mast, though, so when you are in the battle there's a good chance you'll be shot off the mast and you can pretty much that's an instant kill for the enemy team uh, here at the front the other bow so pretty much what you would do throughout the battle is just you know come here shoot a few if you feel like you're taking fire you shoot and then you run down under the decking because you are completely out of sight here you can't be can't be shot down from here. Uh, you know, come up, shoot some more. Eventually, you do want to board. Uh, this ship, when it gets hit uh, by enemy fire, you know, while it doesn't happen all that often because of how low it sits, when it does happen, it's serious. Because if I go ahead and set off just that one shot there, you know, you've got a pretty serious hole in your ship. And while that might not seem like it's that big of a deal right now, you know, you come in and put, uh, put a couple more shots in. Should just infinite that. No, but uh, you put enough shots in that section, and now your ship is effectively torn in half. And, you know, you're vulnerable. You can't actually usually traverse the ship at this point so you're cut off from your crew and you do technically by ship battles rules have to use a boat to get across this little channel which is a pain it is, it is a pain no, just make the jump but yeah so you do have to bear that in mind that is a reason that this ship is very good to board right away or not right away but you know, you do want to board the enemy vessel before you take too much fire. Uh, the guns, being low guns, it does only have low guns, so they do pop up quite high on the enemy ship. It is hard to take out lower deck guns unless you use uh, power, uh, but they, it does make them easier to use in the long run. I believe. That's, you know, that's about all I can think of. It's a pretty straightforward ship. You know, you use the heavy guns until your guns get disabled, and then you go board the enemy ship. And that's about all the strategy that there is. Uh, oh, one other little tiny unique ship strategy that is pretty much universal with any ship that has upgraded swords. When you are kitting up, you know, you've got your kit pirate. that comes with all your standard piratey supplies you do have a wooden sword and everybody's got the wooden sword here you've got the stone swords what is suggested is that you take the stone sword and not only take one for yourself but once all your teammates have them 
it suggested that you actually empty out the chests because once this happens to your ship it is incredibly easy for the enemy team to board you and if they were to say you know come in on the boat here so they're sailing in their boat here they jump in they run to your chest they take your sword now they're on the ground with you possibly even better based on what up uh, you know chest buffs their ship had so that's just a little strategy tip that I would like to pass on but uh, that pretty much wraps it up for Longship. Uh, adios.